about um, the things I've been making. So today, I made this. It took me about, I don't know, four hours, something like that. Um, and um, it's for the log books, that's all. Um, all the pilots out there, we value our log books quite a lot. They're worth thousands and thousands of pounds. And uh, I just wanted to put mine in something nice. So I've made it out of um, 1000 Cordura. And this is exactly the same that we make um, parachute containers out of it. So parachute container material and the stitching I've used uh, bonded nylon thread. Uh, and that's got a six pound, roughly six pound breaking strain. So this is made like a Tonka toy. It'll never break and uh, it'll be with me forever. And I put my little stamp on it there, which is, it says Air Ministry. It's what they used to use in the war, but that stands for Andy, me, and my daughter, Millie, AM, Andy and Millie. And uh, also put a little watermark on the back. And um, just put a few little things on it, like a pen holder there. And um, you can open it up, made a few pleats in it just to make it look a bit nicer. And uh, in the top, a little Velcro, some flaps there. I was talking to the oddity finder earlier about uh, making these flaps for the side, very simple. Um, and in there, this is my <coughs> log book. And log book number two, which I haven't really started yet, hopefully after COVID-19. And my tatty old flying license. So um, a couple of flaps on the top and it velcros over, very nice. So, four hours work. So when someone says to me, what did you do in lockdown? I can tell them, I started making stuff. And um, I quilted it inside as well, so it's nice and padded. So a friend of mine came in with his dog blanket the other day, and he wanted it shortening, so I shortened it. Uh, and this is a bit of an off cut. So it's nice and, nice and quilted inside. So it looks after the log books nicely. So, uh, this is my log book. Um, basically, it's, um, this is a Navy log book. This is an Air Force log book. And uh, this one here, Parachute Regiment, very nice. Um, this is three log books. And if you can see it, it's not really a log book. It's like a scrapbook. I don't know if you can see that. And I just fill it full of my favorite pictures. Um, I look at it more like a di uh, not not like a not like a logbook. It's more of a diary. You spend thousands of pounds flying, so you may as well make a scrapbook instead of a logbook. So I log all my hours and stuff in there, but I, I just put nice little pictures in, things that remind me of certain displays. Um, uh, there's a cool picture there. That's me behind the B17, Sally B. Uh, that's the. Beauty of flying at Duxford, you get to fly next to and around all these amazing aeroplanes. Um, that's uh, my friend's Yale there. Yeah, so logbook, it's just a, since 2000, 20 years worth of flying, uh, worth a fortune uh, in flying hours and petrol. So I thought I better look after it. Nice little book. So, goes into my new. Lock book holder. Like so. This one here, still yet to use it, but uh, I haven't got that many hours actually. Some, some people always ask how many hours I've got. I'm, I'm not an airline pilot, so all my flying has been um, parachute flying. So I've flown all your caravans and your islanders and twin otters and things like that. So quite nice planes. And then obviously the, the Harvards and the Mustang and um, getting more into the air show stuff. So 1,600 hours total. Uh, not, not a huge amount. Not as many as some, more than others. But uh, hope to be filling that book soon. <clears throat> and then uh, I just put these flappers on the top here just to tidy it up really, stop all the dust and dirt getting in it and over the top. <clears throat> so there you go, I made that today. I'm really, really pleased with that. Three or four hours work and uh, I've got myself a nice little logbook holder and uh, that should last me forever. Some people say, do I sell these things? No, I don't because no two items are the same. Um, I don't use any patterns, it's all in here. I just lay out the cloth 
I'll start cutting and like uh, Picasso, uh, just start sewing uh, until eventually um, something comes out the other end. So let's have a look at what I did yesterday. I think I'll leave this video on as a, a live, actually. Um, <clears throat> while I'm on a bit of a roll, I'll show you what I did yesterday. So yesterday, I've, I've been making knee boards, right? iPads for a long time. Again, they're not for sale. Um, I just come out my head. I make them once. I don't, I don't cut from any patterns, but um, I've made various ones, but, but this is the best one because it's the most simple. Um, it's just, just on a hard background. It's made a Cordura, stamped it again there with the Air Ministry stamp, but it actually stands for Andy and Millie, my daughter Millie, A-M. And um, yeah, the, the iPad itself, the case is velcroed onto this back piece, so I can, I can take that off at any time. Just for a little bit of extra security, I just put some elastic on there and some elastic on there. For simplicity, it's just got one um, strap that goes around the thigh, um, and, and this will withstand at least six Gs, which is pretty good because I never pull more than four. So um, this, this iPad will not come off the knee board. It, it's on there. Um, but the beauty is I can charge it easily, I can turn it on easily, and, and that's that. So this is the last and final knee pad holder I'll be making, unless I make a gift for somebody. Somebody just done me a favor. <laughs> um, I usually make a little gift for them. Um, but, but this is my default, my default iPad holder now, easy. So that was yesterday, it took me about 40 minutes. So if you've got a sewing machine, get sewing because every time I want something specialist, I can never find it. So I just make it myself. So what I like doing actually is um, making specialist military kit. So I make it and then I take the d design to somebody who knows what they're doing and then say, make that, make it nice. So th these are all my uh, concept pieces. So I just make these. I think if I, if I like them and want to sell them, I'd, I'd get them made by someone who knows what they're doing. But, but it's, it's fun, it's fun doing it. Um, my background is parachuting and fixing parachutes. And uh, I've been involved with parachutes for years and years and years. So I just use parachute material, makes sense. So iPad hold yesterday, 40 minutes. I'll, I'll be using that forever until they come up with a new iPad or something slightly different but I'll keep that and this today for those who have just joined um, this is the uh, logbook holder Donny Edwards yeah Dragon's Den I think they'll laugh at me uh, I've had a few friends go to Dragon's Den but uh, yeah so you just can't find logbook holders um, you know fit for purpose so make your own get your sewing machine out get your thread Make about 20 until you get it right. And then, um, there you go. Stick your log books in there. If you've just joined me, it's all quilted inside and very nice. I'm gonna tidy it up a little bit tomorrow. I've not got OCD, but there's uh, just a few areas that, you know, just wanna tidy up. Don't know why. Uh, must be this lockdown fever. Put a little tab on it there, look. I, I always use the same pen in my logbook as well. I go crazy if I lose my pen because when I fill out my logbook, I, I like it's, it's not OCD. It's just I don't know neatness. I don't know what it is. But I always use use the same pen. So this is I've had this about three years now. So I'm gonna hide it back in there. Um, at the end of the year, I underline everything with red. Maybe that is OCD. <laughs> but uh, yeah, at the end of the year, I underline with red. Uh, not a lot going on this year though, not a lot of flying, so so from 2020's entries will be like one page and then underlined in red. Hopefully 2021 will be a good year, a lot more stuff going on. Okay, any questions? I'll stay on. Donny Edwards, OCD, <laughs> fanatic. <laughs> yeah, some do say that. There's nothing fanatical about it. If you want to get good at loops, do 100 in a day. If you want to get good at Cubans, do 200. There's nothing fanatical about that, Donny. Um, 
Any more questions? No. How long did it take to make? This took me about four hours. Um, I'm sure my mate Dave's watching. Uh, it was chatting the whole time. Digga, 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 digga. Uh, so it would have taken about two, but uh, he was telling me some quite interesting stories, actually. So, uh, yeah, I sat with my mate telling war stories and uh, sewing away at the same time. Canal, thank you. Keep up the good work, Donny. Thor, I'll give you that. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Like I say, all made out of parachute material, like a Tonka toy. They're not for sale. Um, it's just me giving you a little bit of inspiration. If you can't find it in a shop, make it yourself. Um, get a lot, a lot of pleasure out of it. Okay. Any more questions? No, that's me signing off. Back to my... Um